Folks, we're going to try this again. I decided I'm going to sit down and uh, try this again. <laughs> so, whatever you are holding on to, you don't have to hold on to. It's insignificant to God and it's insignificant to you uh, in the long run or a period, actually. There was a story uh, someone shared with us and they were talking about how they prayed for a person to receive uh, insight on, on some things that they could be holding that's been keeping them stuck and keeping them bound. So they prayed for the person um, and the person came back to them three days later, which they didn't know that they prayed for them. And the person said, guess what? I found out why um, I've been, I found out why I feel the way I feel about a particular matter. God showed me in a dream, right? So I was listening to the story and I was thinking, I said, hmm, you know, God loves us and he wants us freed from the chains that, you know, bind us, right? But I realized something that, you know, if all it takes is a dream to shift your perspective into freedom, then in the, in the whole thing was, was almost unnecessary. Everything that you've been holding for years, it's really unnecessary. You are so much more. You are so much deeper. You're so much wider than just your experiences and even your physical, your physical Id Id identity. You know what I mean? You're so much more than that. So if God can reveal to you instantaneously something that's been keeping you trapped for years and you become untrapped instantaneously because of the revelation God shows you, then it was insignificant from the, from the very beginning. It was insignificant. I'm not making light of any trauma that somebody has, but I am saying you are more than what you think. You are more than your experiences. You are more than what you, you, are, you are more than, than who raped you. You are more than being raped. You are more. You are more than all of these things that you've carried. The world gives us an excuse to be in prison because of the world's lack of understanding around spiritual things. So that's all I got. I hope it makes sense um, that you are free, you are more, and you just got to believe it and you just got to walk towards that truth. I'll talk to you. Pastor Jamal, Rising Ground Church.